I wanted to start off by talking about why would you want PHP My Admin, which we're going to show you how to install. PHP My Admin is going to be the GUI way of doing things. Um, I find that one of the reasons why people don't use FreeBSD or Linux is they're like, well, sometimes it gets too text based. You got to go through a terminal, do things. I like things GUI. I like KDE. I like these things. So. PHP My Admin is really there. It's nice. It's a nice way to do things. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's quit me talking here and let me go ahead and switch over to the video of watching me installing PHP My Admin. Okay, let's get started installing PHP My Admin. So as usual, go into root user. And we're going to go into ports, database, php, my, admin. Now do a make install clean. I already have it installed, so after you hit enter after that, um, this is what you should get. You should get a screen like this. You see these options here? These are probably the options that you want set up. Um, I've never done the MySQLI, so I'm not exactly sure, so if you want to check it, go ahead, but I'm not going to do that for this tutorial. Go ahead and hit enter. I'm going to hit cancel, and it's going to go through the install. Now, the next thing that we have to do is we have to edit the Apache file. The reason is, is because PHP My Admin is not stall, installed in user local www forward slash data my, PHP My Admin. So what you have to do is you have to set up an alias uh, and some directory information so when you type something in it knows to look in that directory instead of the data directory or whatever data you have specified directly have specified for uh, PHP my, uh, my admin or your sorry your web file. Okay, so in the file, the first line you're going to type in is Elias forward slash PHP my admin. What that actually does is that will tell um, that will set the directory so you could that's after the forward slash, so if you type in your domain name forward slash, whatever you specify there in the alliance for that for that first part, that is what, you know, that's going to set this up. Now, after you hit space, you then have to type in where the PHP My Admin folder is, which on my server, it's user local www php. You need to make sure it's case sensitive because if not, it might not match. So, if I, so what I'm saying is, you see how I have forward slash PHP, capital M, lowercase y, capital A? If I were to type lowercase m and lowercase a, I would have a problem because there is no such directory. So you need to make sure that. The next thing you have to do is set up the directory. Now, what this is basically for, my understanding of it, if I am wrong, please post a comment, and, you know, I, I will agree here. The directory spe basically specifies secure, you know, basically security. Um, now, this came from the PHP My Admin site. They have order, allow, comma, deny, and allow from all. So I just follow them, and that's what I do. Um, if that's wrong or needs to be edited, please, again, post a comment if you're watching this on YouTube or come to my site, join in and chat and let me know if I'm around. The last thing you want to do is, um, but you, this is probably already done, make sure index.php uh, is filled in on the line so you don't have any problems with that. So go ahead and save the file after those changes. Now, what we want to do is we're going to do cd user local www php my admin 
and hit enter. Then we want to type in ee space config dot ink dot php. Now there are some sample files that have some stuff, but honestly, do not do it. Um, I've had nothing but headaches and problems, and it's just a pain. Now what I'm doing is I have set up that when you go to my PHP mad, my admin site, it's going to pop up and ask for a username and password. Um, the username and password is pulled from the user database in the MySQL. Uh, there are ways where you can make like a config file and put your username and password. So that I do not. So uh, I'm not going to go into the specifics what all these are, but uh, these I will. Um, all of these are going to be default ex at, until you get into the equal sign. This is where you guys need to specify your own stuff. Now, if for some reason, uh, or if you're a little more advanced, and let's say you have your MySQL server on a different computer or a different server, you would specify that here. But because um, we're you know doing it all on the same computer, localhost will work. The next one is mo after the equal. This will be MySQL. This is what you do want to keep. There's really no changes that you have to make there. The connection type is a TCP connection. Um, that is by default. I wouldn't change that. I would leave that the way that is. Um, compress. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I think that's like compression, things like that. I have that set to false, and it works fine for me. Now, this is where the authentication type can change. If you're going to go off my tutorial, look, you're going to follow my tutorial step by step. You want to set it to HTTP. That will basically do it to where you'll get a prompt box when you get to my MySQL page. Now, if you, you can type the word config in here, which you would then need to set up a separate config file with username and password. But again, I don't get into that. I find it too difficult. The other thing I like to add in is logout URL. The reason why you want to do something like that is because if you don't, um, it's going to cause, when you get log out, you're going to get all these type of errors, and you think problems are happening when they're not. So when I hit log out, when I'm in my SQ, the PHP my admin, it will take me to the site I have specified. So once that's all done, you can save that file, and if your MySQL server is running, just restart it with a user local CSD server start if it's not started or restart if you need to restart it and that's going to wrap up my tutorial if you're watching this okay so there it goes i guess it wasn't as hard as i thought it was but um that's it so once i would go to there you know you have php my admin all set up um if you're watching this on youtube you know please subscribe i'm you know again new to this i'm trying to make some good tutorials try to make it a little bit easier than some tutorials I'll see but I'm trying so um, again if you subscribe you'll get to see any future tutorials I'll have or any future posting on YouTube um, thanks again for watching and have a good day